What's up everybody, it's Simon from Lake Hub. Today's Lake Spotlight, Lake Louisville, just north of Dallas, Texas. Lake Louisville is about 30,000 surface acres and it is right in the middle of the Metroplex. What's kind of cool about it is that it's surrounded by about half that, about 16,000 acres of woods and open land and parks and, and all that kind of stuff. So there's lots of great camping, there's lots of great fishing access, and there's lots of great hunting in and around, all around the lake. So there are all kinds of marinas and amenities on Lake Louisville. There's just about everything that you need somewhere. There's boat ramps all the way around, plenty of access, parks, access, that, that sort of thing. If you want to boat up to a restaurant, you can find that. If you want to rent a boat, you can find that. Bait, you know, ship stores, all that kind of stuff. Plenty of amenities being in the Metroplex as it is. Right behind me on this point over here is I-35E. So one of the most notable features of Lake Louisville is that the interstate crosses it, right? So uh, it kind of splits, you know, the northern part of the Metroplex and kind of the further reaches and then the, you know, suburbs of Dallas. But I see a lot of people posting up underneath the interstate bridge and fishing you know, it looks like they're, they're fishing for crappie. And underneath a bridge is always a good spot for crappie. It's a nice wide bridge, and so there's a lot of shade. Um, sometimes, you know, even like kayakers and boats will lash up to, uh, to one, of the, one of the posts and just hang out there in the shade and fish. So Lake Louisville was originally a smaller lake called Lake Dallas. And so there's uh, just on the other side of, uh, from Dallas of the lake, um, of the Lake Bridge is the city of Lake, Lake Dallas, small little city, kind of lakefront community. Um, and Lake Dallas used to be this much smaller, now it's, now it's one of the back arms of Lake Louisville. So it's probably, I don't know, just off the, off the top of my head, maybe about a fifth of the size of what the lake is now. And so the old Lake Dallas Dam is actually a cool kind of now it's like it almost looks like a geological feature and it kind of sort of is you know it's 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 the old dam um, it's a great place to fish there's a couple of channels through it now that, that have been you know blown open to make the lake bigger and so that's a good fishing spot it's also kind of just a cool place to kind of hang out that's where party cove is and and a, it's, it's kind of a cool just a cool boating area right because it's just something different than just open water so being squarely in the Metroplex, there's almost always noise here at Lake Louisville. Uh, for better or for worse, there's always someone on the water bumping music. You can hear the interstate when, you know, somebody on a bike just opens up and goes about 120. Wow, like, you know what I mean? There's always stuff going on. There's tr air traffic overhead uh, going to DFW Airport, going to Love Field. So... There's all, there's, if you like that activity, if you like that, the buzz of stuff happening and, and activity, this is a great lake. If you're looking to get away for some peace and quiet, not as much. I mean, there are places where you can find that, but it, it's hard. You know, you have, to, you have to try. You have to try to find peace and quiet on Lake Louisville. But if you like the buzz and the activity and stuff happening, then there might not be a better lake in the area. We love our lakes and we love Lake Louisville. I hope this was informative and helpful. Get outside, have some fun.